books teach us about things that happened in the past. But to really understand what people looked like, how they felt and how big disasters were, we need photographs. Photos show us things we can only imagine. In this video, I'm offering you the chance to explore the past through these unique pictures. Enjoy! But before we move on, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Done that? Let's begin. In October 1946, American scientists achieved a remarkable feat by capturing the very first image of our planet from space. They accomplished this by launching a V-2 ballistic missile equipped with a 35mm camera from the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. As the rocket soared to an altitude of approximately 105 kilometers, the camera took photographs at 1.5 second intervals. Upon reaching its highest point, the rocket began its descent, but unfortunately the camera was destroyed upon impact. However, the film reel containing the photograph survived intact. The images of Earth seen from space became a sensation because no one had previously witnessed our planet from such a unique vantage point. Interestingly, a similar attempt to capture such images was made in 1935 using the American helium balloon Explorer 2, which ascended to an altitude of just over 22 kilometers. While the 1946 photograph may not appear awe-inspiring by today's standards, it was truly sensational for its time offering people their first glimpse of Earth against the backdrop of the endless cosmos. The Roswell incident, which occurred in July 1947, is one of the most widely discussed stories involving UFOs or unidentified flying objects. During this event, unidentified metallic and rubber fragments were discovered near a village in New Mexico. Following the discovery, local Roswell newspapers were filled with headlines suggesting that proof of extraterrestrial life had been found. The debris from the strange object was sent for analysis, and General Roger Mason Ramey was responsible for the detailed examination. Photographs taken during the investigation showed General Ramey closely inspecting the debris at the Roswell base. The following day, General Ramey made a statement claiming that the entire UFO story was fabricated and that the strange object was in fact a weather radar balloon. After this statement, news coverage of the incident abruptly ceased. However, the Roswell incident continues to be a subject of debate to this day. UFO enthusiasts believe that General Ramey may have hidden the truth from the public, while skeptics tend to trust his final statement about the object being a weather balloon. Anne Frank, a girl from Germany, became famous because of her diary. Before that, she was just like any other happy girl. Sadly, her life changed when the Nazis started treating Jewish people very badly during World War II. To escape the danger, Anne and her family hid in a secret place in Amsterdam called the Secret Annex. There, Anne began writing a diary. In her diary, she shared her thoughts, feelings, and the difficulties her family faced while in hiding. At first, she wrote just for herself, but later she decided to turn her diary into a book. Anne's diary is special because it shows how people can stay strong even when things are really tough. It's like a window into the past letting us see what life was like during those hard times. Tragically, Anne and her family were discovered by the Nazis in 1944. They were taken away to a concentration camp where Anne died when she was only 15 years old. But Anne's diary survived, and it's now very important. It's even on a special list by UNESCO because it helps us remember the terrible things that happened during the Holocaust. Many people have read her diary and it has been translated into many languages. It's a way for us to learn about history from the perspective of a brave young girl. For 50 years, climbers tried to conquer Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth, but they faced many challenges. Finally, on May 29, 1953, a climber from New Zealand named Edmund Hillary and a Sherpa named Tenzing Norgay reached the summit of Everest using the South Coal Route. Their historic journey was documented with photographs to capture this thrilling achievement. The pictures showed that Hillary and Tenzing quickly became good friends during their climb. People who were with them on the expedition noted that Sherpa Tenzing had a kind and friendly nature. When they reached the summit of Everest, they spent about 15 minutes there, taking in the incredible view and the accomplishment of their journey. They even took a few more photographs to remember the moment. One of the most famous pictures was taken by Edmund Hillary, showing Tenzing holding his ice axe triumphantly. 
Unfortunately, there is no photograph of Hillary on the summit because Tenzing was not familiar with how to operate the camera. Nevertheless, their successful climb remains a historic moment in the world of mountaineering and exploration. On February 7, 1964, a legendary photograph of the Beatles was taken. This iconic moment marked their arrival in the United States for their very first tour of the country. The Fab Four from Liverpool had already gained immense popularity in the US, eagerly awaited by American fans. Before departing for their American tour, London's Heathrow Airport was swamped with about 4,000 Beatles fans, all wishing them a successful journey. As their plane prepared to land in New York, they received news that Kennedy Airport had gathered an unprecedented crowd of around 3,000 people ready to welcome their idols. The photographs captured the excitement, with American fans joyously waving and celebrating the arrival of the band. When the Beatles stepped off the plane, the crowd erupted in jubilant screams. Despite the frenzy, the English quartet remained calm and composed. These photographs became a cultural phenomenon, marking the beginning of Beatlemania that would sweep the United States and solidify the Beatles' iconic status in music history. In the 19th century, women in most countries lacked the right to vote or run for office. However, the emergence of women's activist movements fighting for equal rights began to change this narrative. Participants in the British women's suffrage movement known as suffragettes, organizing rallies and fiercely advocating for their cause. Gradually, women in different countries started gaining the right to vote. The women of New Zealand celebrated this milestone in 1893, followed by Australian women in 1902. European women secured their voting rights closer to 1917. These achievements were captured in photographs with the first women proudly casting their ballots, radiating sheer joy at their newfound status. Ultimately, the right to vote for women was internationally recognized in 1948. Frida Kahlo, a renowned Mexican artist from the early 20th century, was a woman of remarkable talent, beauty and individuality. Despite her serious illness, disability and personal challenges, she remained a strong spirit. Photographs of Frida reveal her multifaceted personality. Images of her at work depict the emotional depth she invested in her art, conveying feelings of joy, bitterness and pain. Portrait photographs of Frida showcase her as a passionate, vibrant individual. Her distinctive style, characterized by intricate hairstyles with woven flowers, long dresses and a Washington-style skirt, as well as elaborate blouses and modern jewelry, all celebrated her unique identity. Few knew that beneath her loose-fitting clothes, Frida concealed a corset and a leg prosthesis. Through these photographs, Frida Kahlo's strength and individuality speak volumes, allowing us to understand the essence of the artist. On August 6, 1945, an American bomber dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, leading to the immediate loss of over 80,000 lives. These photographs provide a haunting glimpse into the devastation caused by this catastrophic event. The vibrant city was transformed into ruins, bearing witness to the horrors of war. It's agonizing to contemplate how swiftly lives were extinguished. Merely three days later, Nagasaki experienced a similar fate, with an atomic bomb claiming the lives of tens of thousands more. In total, nearly 200,000 people perished due to these two devastating attacks. The tragedy that befell Japan remains a somber chapter in history marking the first and thankfully the only instance of nuclear weapons being used in human history. These photographs serve as a stark reminder of the unimaginable consequences of war and the importance of pursuing peace and diplomacy. On August 28, 1963, a big protest happened in Washington, D.C. It was called the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. About 300,000 people came to the Lincoln Memorial. There, they listened to a famous speech by Martin Luther King Jr. In this picture, you can see Martin Luther King Jr. He looks confident and his words are powerful. He started his speech by saying, Even though we have problems today and will have them tomorrow, I still have a dream. He shared his dream that one day, no matter what race you are, everyone would be treated the same. Martin Luther King's speech was considered a masterpiece of talking in the 20th century. In his speech, he talked about the American dream and the Bible. He repeated the phrase, I have a dream, eight times. Many people believe that because of his speech, important laws about civil rights and voting were made. 
making it a big moment in the fight for fairness and equality. You might think the first colorful photo was taken in the 1950s or 1960s, but it's surprising that the first non-black and white photo appeared in 1861. The pioneer of color photography was a smart British physicist named James Clark Maxwell. He showed the world that you can make any color by mixing just three primary colors, red, blue, and green. He wanted to use this discovery for photography. So he asked a photographer named Thomas Sutton to help. They took a picture of a bow made from colorful tartan ribbon on a dark background in sunlight. Maxwell used three liquids that were colored red, green, and blue as filters for the photo. These filters had different salts and metals to make colors. They got three negatives from this. Then Maxwell showed the negatives to people who were interested in his discoveries at the Royal Institute. They used lanterns and the same filters to make a single color picture of the bow with the colorful pattern. This experiment started the era of color photography. On the night of April 26, 1986, there was a big explosion at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant's fourth reactor. It was the worst accident in the history of nuclear power. It let out a lot of dangerous radioactive stuff. Over 500,000 people worked to make things better. These pictures show real heroes. They were willing to risk their health for the future of their kids. Right after the explosion, firefighters came to the place. They didn't have special suits for working in radioactive areas. They just wore their regular firefighting gear, gloves and helmets, along with gas masks. Everyone who helped in the beginning got sick from radiation. Some got better because they got help quickly, but others died within a year. They were heroes even if we don't know all their names. On February 11, 1990, Nelson Mandela, a hero who fought for freedom, was released from prison after 27 years. Photographers took many pictures and journalists interviewed him. People celebrated his release with great joy. In one photo, Mandela walks hand in hand with his wife Winnie, both incredibly happy. He protected his African people fiercely and became South Africa's first black president. During his presidency, he made many positive changes like free medical care for little children. In 1993, he received the Nobel Prize, and in 2009, the UN recognized him as an icon of hope. On May 6, 1937, something really terrible happened involving a German airship called the Hindenburg. A photographer took a picture at the moment when it started burning and then crashed. When you look at the picture, it seems like a scene from a scary movie, but it was real. Just thinking about what the people on the Hindenburg went through is really frightening. This happened while the airship was coming down to land after it let go of its anchor ropes. All of a sudden, the Hindenburg caught fire. There were 97 people on board and 35 of them didn't make it, including one worker who was on the ground when the airship fell. This awful incident made people not trust or like airships anymore, so many countries stopped using them as a way to travel in the sky. On November 9, 1989, something really important happened in the world. The big wall in Berlin, called the Berlin Wall, which had been built in August 1961, dividing the city into east and west, finally came down. This division had happened during the Cold War, and it split Germany into two parts, East Germany, or GDR, and West Germany, FRG. A lot of people didn't like this separation, and they'd been protesting against it for a long time. Finally, the leaders in East Germany decided to remove the restrictions, and this made a lot of people very happy. There are pictures and videos of these joyful moments. When the news came out that Germany was going to become one single country again, the people on both sides of Berlin were very excited. They didn't wait for the government to take down the wall, they started tearing it down themselves. This day, when the Berlin Wall fell, became a symbol of the end of the Cold War, which had been going on for more than 40 years. It wasn't just an important moment for the Germans, it was a significant event for the whole world. The photo of the first person on the moon, Neil Armstrong, has caused some arguments. People used to think there were no pictures of him because he was holding the camera, but that's not true. There is a unique photo taken by Buzz Aldrin, the pilot of the lunar module for Apollo 11. Aldrin wanted to capture the view of the moon's landscapes around them, and Neil Armstrong happened to be in the picture. Some people said the photo might be fake, pointing out things that didn't look right. However, one thing is for sure, 
Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first people to walk on the moon. Marilyn Monroe, known for her beauty, had her famous photo taken in 1954 while filming The Seven Year Itch in New York. She wore a white dress and stood over a subway grate. As subway trains passed below, gusts of air playfully lifted her dress, creating a memorable moment. This was captured by cameras and became very popular. However, this iconic photo caused trouble in Monroe's personal life. Her husband, Joe DiMaggio, who was in the crowd, didn't like it. His disapproval led to a scandal and they got divorced shortly afterward. So despite the photo's fame, it played a role in Monroe's separation from her husband. The Eiffel Tower is the most famous landmark in Paris. When tourists visit the city, they often take photos with the tower in the background. This is quite common. But what's more interesting is looking at photographs from the time when the tower was being built. The construction of the Eiffel Tower started in 1887 and took two years to complete. The city of Paris hired Gustav Eiffel's engineering firm for this project, and that's why it's named after him. Initially, the tower was meant to be a temporary structure built as the entrance arch for the 1889 Paris World Fair. Old photographs show the entire process of building the Eiffel Tower, from laying its foundation to finishing the dome. They also captured interesting moments with the workers who were involved in its construction. After the World Fair, the tower became very popular and remains one of the world's most famous attractions even today. Wilbur and Orville Wright made history by showing that human beings could fly. They built an aircraft called the Flyer One on December 17, 1903 in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. This was a big moment because it was the first time people could control a flying machine. They even captured this historic event on camera, which is amazing. In the photos, you can see Orville Wright at the controls and his brother Wilbur is there too, helping to keep the aircraft steady. During their first flight, they managed to lift the Flyer 1 to a height of 3 meters and stayed in the air for 12 seconds, covering a distance of 37 meters. That was just the beginning. On the same day, they tried again and flew even farther, covering 260 meters. In total, they made four flights with the Flyer 1 that day. This was a huge leap forward for aviation, and these photographs captured that historic moment. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your engagement means a lot to us. Thanks for watching, and see you soon. Goodbye.